up y'all it's your girl and i'm back for another video how is everybody doing today i'm on my way to go pick up the kids i am putting a smile on my face and i am how do you like the new hair you know i'm, I'm doing, doing, doing changing it up a little bit i'm not done styling it i ran out of time i made this wig i made this unit myself and i ran out of time before i could finish doing what i had to do to it but it still looks good I just didn't have the time because I'm like, I can't be late to get the babies. Can't be late to get the babies, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to say two things, okay? Number one, I feel like I have been letting the negativity that I receive on a regular basis get to me. You know what I mean? Nothing I do is right. Everything I do is wrong. The bigger I get, the harder it is to keep the same mind frame that I've always had of fuck them, you know? But with that being said, fuck them. So from this day forward, every time I feel like I'm, I'm getting ready to get down on myself, every time I feel like somebody's coming after me, every time I feel like negativity, the more negativity that I get, that is just going to fuel my fire from now on. Instead of being like, I'm gonna quit YouTube. I don't wanna, I wanna take a break because I'm tired of all of this. I'm gonna be like, fuck it, pick up a camera. Give them something else to talk about. Something new and rack them coins up while you do it. I've been working my butt off. Have y'all seen these vlogs? I've been just busting out videos. Now they have been kind of on the shorter side. I will, I will give you that. They have been on the shorter side, but nonetheless, they have been coming out, out back to back. And I'm proud of myself. One of my greatest struggles has been putting out consistent content. There's always something going on that prevents me from being the best me I can be on YouTube, you know? With that being said, with stardom comes a level of hatred and jealousy. And so it's been on the high end lately. And so from now on, every time I feel like I wanna message somebody back who posts negative comments on my Instagram or on my YouTube. Every time I want to argue with somebody and be like, be this, be that, um, you don't know this, you don't know that. Every time I want to explain myself about every little thing that I do and why, I'm just going to pick a motherfucking camera and I'm going to vlog and I'm going to post and I'm going to modernize my videos and I'm going to make my motherfucking money. That's what I'm going to do because I am not going to let anybody stop me. I said it once, I said it twice, I said it a million times, and I'll say just one more for the ones in the back. Okay? You're not stopping nothing in this motherfucker. I have to just find beauty in, in, in strength in, in, you know, situations where people want to, they want you to be down. I'm going through a lot right now. My life is not perfect. It never has been. I never got on here and said it was. People will steal whatever type of joy you try to find in life. I want to thank everyone who donated to the GoFundMe. I tried to reach out personally and thank every everyone personally that donated. If I haven't gotten in, gotten to you yet, please know that I thank you. I don't care if it was just $10. Even though we have not raised the entire amount yet, I am you know, grateful for everything that we have because everything helps to go towards that cost. We have some, we have some, some fun things planned this weekend. Oh my gosh. I got, we've got some, some goodies at home. The kids are going to freak out. I'm not sure if I want to, I'm not sure if I want to let them open those gifts right now. And I'm thinking about just keeping it in the box and then letting them open it up over the weekend. You know, when we can actually have fun with them. Cause I wanna get in there too, you know what I mean? I, I, I wanna join. I want to join the party, the fun, you know? I really hope October is gonna be a really um, great month for everyone, prosperous. I hope that if you guys are having a hard time right now, that you find, um, I hope that you find relief in that sooner rather than later. Somebody needs to hear it, so I'm gonna say it. You can do this, girl, you can work through it, go ahead and do it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody needs to hear it today. So today, I'm gonna be the, the voice that's gonna tell you that you needed to hear, that you know, tell you that. What's up, you all? All right, so we're just sitting in the car right now. Um, I wasn't going to vlog because, you know, we're just sitting in the car, but Kate, Kaya wanted to show you guys her social studies tests today that she got back. She got a 100% on that one. Now show them the other one. The other one. 
I got 90, which is pretty good. She got it 80%. Hey, oh, 80. 80%. Yes. Which is still good. It's still an A. Yes, right? Or is it a B? Or, no, that's a... <laughs> I, um, think that might be, I think that might be a B because B? do your homework. Just do the other page. Do it. Oh, you have to divide and On all of them? You yeah. need division practice though. I'm pretty sure this is not a B. So I think 80% is a B, Kaya. 90% to 85, I think to 100% is an A. Can I show the 80 picture? and lower, I think is a B. But that's still, it's still really good. I'm surprised they actually give grades, like, yeah. usually they just mark smiley faces, I thought, you know, <laughs> until a certain grade. And for every A on a test that they get, they get a dollar. She just earned herself two whole dollars, right, Kaya? You're going to be rich, you keep on. Two hundred dollars? I didn't say two hundred, I said two. <laughs> Girl, two hundred, come on now. Um, I need some three dollars. So I need some more A's from you guys. Oh, okay, what I'll bring doing? you. Ew. Ew. Disgust. <laughs> I'll bring you guys some more A's oh. for me to get some more money for rich. This, this because. Okay, uh -oh. I want to see your homework. Do you have some A's? No, because Mom, I didn't hello. do tests. Oh, okay. I did like two Not tests today. Mom, hi. Oh. What do you want? Mama, I say hello. I wanna get out of the car. You're not getting out. Look, you're not getting out this car, okay? Because we're waiting. It's hot outside. It's like 100 degrees. We're going to be in there in the AC, okay? Mom, take off the bag and in there. So we have this. No! This beautiful. I do the back of heads for no reason. But I like just to do the hairstyle. So there's that one. So what are you doing? This, Sit down. This one. Awesome. Amazing. And then we have this one. Which is the same thing as my mom For real this time, we'll see how we'll be, you know. All right, so I got the twins with me. Where's the other one? There you are. We're at Walgreens. I just have to come and grab something for Cadence's hair because we're gonna do a hair video with her today. Her first hair video. Whoa, it's dark all of a sudden. You girls with me? So they wanted to come with me. And so we're just gonna grab something. I just gonna grab something for her hair that I don't feel like going to the big store for. So I've gotta find out where I'm going first. So sorry Chanel, I don't know why that happened, but anyway, this looks like one of those little Dollar, Street, Dollar Tree DIYs that I've seen on, um, on YouTube so many times, and this is so cute, and um, yeah, you can tell she, she put this, took her time and made this for me and sent it to me, which I thought was very, very sweet of her, so thank you so much Chanel, it's very beautiful. I'm going to go on to the next one. Chanel, this is also from you, and I'm going to read what you, you look like you wrote me a, a, a note there. This is really cute. These are so cute. She sent me these little throw pillows. I love these. I wonder if she was able to find these from the Dollar Tree, too. I was not able to find these. Wow. Oh, look. Look, y'all. She found the little, uh, the little sequins. Look. I have these at the house and didn't even know she had sent me this. Awesome, thank you so much. I absolutely love these. And I didn't, at my Dollar Tree, they don't have the little sequin pillows. So I thought that was really sweet. Thank you so much, Chanel. I love these little pillows. So cute, oh my gosh. I got a thing for flip sequins now, I don't know. Got it from the girls, so cute. And of course you can't go wrong with this cosmetic bag, which I'm gonna throw in my bag on the way home. Honey, yes, this is so cute. Thank you, girl. You know me, okay? You know me. Oh, she wrote me this cute little note. Um, and you're and she said her handwriting sucks. Girl, your handwriting is pretty. You have very nice handwriting, better than me. Um, so I won't read it out on camera because you know I don't want to get all I don't want to be putting your business out there. But thank you so much, Chanel. That means so much to me. And I know this is probably a long time coming because you have probably sent this 
package these packages a long time ago but with the move and everything it's all it's been really crazy so thank you i really appreciate you for sending that and i have some more stuff in my mom's car but when i get around to it i'll, I'll show y'all then anyway i ate most of it but i got some cuban food from this really good cuban spot by my mom's house that i love i've been loving them for years i have a coconut pastry here so good mm -hmm. i shawl down with some lemonade mm -hmm. cheers y'all it has been so long since I've had peace like this. And just being able to sit and chill. It's been so long since I've been able to do that. I almost don't know what to do with myself. I'm like... So basically, I am here for the whole custody battle thing. I have been not talking about it because I've been advised not to talk about it. The hardest thing to do sometimes is just come to a basic ass agreement. And I just... I, I'm trying to be as flexible as I can and I just hope that everybody can just see eye to eye and, and get and just get it done. I think everything's gonna be fine. I'm not concerned, I'm not worried, I'm not anything, I'm not mad, I'm not I'm not anything. I just it's a necessary evil that we have to get through in order to be able to live my life without anybody saying anything. You know what I wanted to do though? I wanted to see if I can get in to see my OB while I'm here. Not because I'm pregnant, because I'm not. I love, really love my doctor. He was amazing. And I really wanted to go back and at least say bye. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't get a chance because he was so booked up. And I was I was booked up and he was booked up. And our schedules didn't meet up. And then I ended up moving. And I'm like, oh. But I wanted to go say, see him and say hi. Just, you know, he delivers my baby. And I just walk out on him. It's just rude. Like, I might try to call today and see if I can. But if not, oh well. I'm going to take a nap. I'm tired. See you in a little bit. At Fridays with Mom, having some cocktails and some apps. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you look like a robot, Mom. You look nice. What? Everybody always loves you when you get on that vlog. Oh, am I on a vlog? Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm having the... TGI Friday's Rita, I think it is, with sugar. I'm having the berry, berry mojito or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's right here. It's a, a berry smash. It's really good. We're hanging out, chatting a little bit at the bar. Find something to get into later. Cheers, Mom. Cheers. Cheers. Happy belated birthday, oh, daughter. Thanks. Thank you. This trip ended up working out anyway, you know what I'm saying? Ended up getting a little vacation in there.